Welcome to my podcast. I'm Graham Mann. This is Josh. Oh, hello, everyone. Um, yeah, so I suppose we better, I better fess up. This yeah. is the second attempt to record this specific podcast. We've just done 15 minutes. Take two. Take two. And I, uh, yeah, I had the wrong mic switched on for, for my mic. So everything that you said were bang mm. on. Um, but everything I, I was saying, you couldn't hear it. So it's pretty much. So it's 100% my fault. Uh, okay. Fine. <laughs> what we're going to talk about then? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, intro. <laughs> Take two. Um, I'd like to talk about water deregulation. We touched on it last time. We did touch on it last podcast, yeah. Yeah. I didn't go into too much detail, but the scale of the issues surrounding water deregulation and impl- implications on customers it has raised its head to another level in the last couple of weeks since we met. Yeah. Uh, and I think I'd like to give more airtime to this and just give, and give you some insights into some of the numbers yep. surrounding this. Um, so uh, we have a client who's who's got about 130 sites, large leisure sites, 85% are uh, uh, overcharged, 15% are undercharged. So basically... At the moment, uh, we're, we're receiving a fair few clients uh, via energy consultancy companies who are doing their gas and power yep. and also doing the water. Clients are coming to us and asking us to do a preliminary audit report on their estate, and we're finding that basically uh, it, the news is not good. Um, the charges are incorrectly levied, uh, going back since water deregulation, uh, the billing's all over the place. Yep. and the energy consultants are authorising payment. Um, obviously, they're, they're, they're experts in gas and power, but not water. Yep. So they take it on as a, a secondary, or, you know, an additional uh, service. Um, and it, it's causing issues right across the marketplace. And we recently cut out a study of quite a few leisure companies in the northwest and the northeast of the country. Uh, with some colleagues of mine only to discover that the 70 to 80% of those are being incorrectly charged. Um, and this happens, I think I might have mentioned it before, where the data is transferred from one place to another yeah. into the new market. The retailers access, access that data for charging purposes and bill as per the market data, which is correct, because they can only bill what they've been asked to bill or charge by the wholesale supplier. Yeah. And um, basically, the, the charges are incorrectly levied and they keep billing it until we come along and say, that's incorrect. And what, where's this, how is the data being, corrupt, being corrupted from the start? So, like, obviously, deregulation's come in, but where, where's, where's the problem come from? Like, where are they getting the data from to make it corrupt? Well, as I understand it, it was going from one place yeah. to another. Yeah. to a central database yeah. that the retailers access yeah. in order to levy the charges on the customers. Right, okay. And it's that transition. And in that transition period, uh, the data has been corrupted or it's been input incorrectly. Yeah. So instead of having uh, certain allowances against your water bill, those allowances have been reduced or taken off the customer's account yeah. and are now on what's called a default charge. So it's a standard charge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and just a, just a brief number, really, 20 sites overcharged by two, two and two and a half thousand pounds a year. And this is what this is your study, you and your, yeah, you, just a yeah. snapshot, yeah. 20 sites, two to two and a half thousand, 44 grand a year, 88 grand, mm. nearly 90 thousand pounds overcharged on, tw- yeah, well, yeah, probably between 80 and like 100 grand, yeah. right? Yeah, on, on 20 sites, yeah. How many sites is there across the UK? Tens of thousands. So, you're talking ledger sites like with swimming pools and stuff yeah. like that, yeah, yeah. Millions. Yeah, there's one. There's got to be tens of millions. Almost one in every town, isn't there? If you think about it. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, more than that, probably. We've got local authorities. Yeah. In, in Council, charge. Yeah. Private gyms. Gyms. Yeah. God, I, I bet there's many in a, a town, then, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Uh, I bet there's twenty in in Leeds vicinity, but within a three mile, mm-hmm. five mile radius from here. Mm-hmm. Uh, pool, 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 pools, swimming pools on large caravan parks. Yes. Yeah. Leisure parks and there's Hundreds, if not thousands, of those. Yeah, it's Cri- a big issue, and crazy, I, I, I think really is is that 
customers should not have been worse off due to deregulation, and that's caused an issue. So the customer's paying big style. Is it not... I'm, sh- I'm sure I asked this last podcast, but is it not because people... The water industry is going unnoticed slightly because of the scale. Obviously, gas and electricity costs lots costs lots mm. more than... It's a higher profile utility, isn't it? Yeah. So water just goes unnoticed, then it's gone like fully rogue of the companies and they can just sort of do what they want. Is that sort of the, the picture that, that's been painted? It, it's... it's Well, it's not kind of do it the, do what they want. It's, it's the data is correct... As, as far as the water retail company is concerned, because they can only access and yeah. charge yeah, yeah, what they're yeah. instructed to charge by the wholesaler. Yeah. Um, but then when we point it out, the water retail companies are having an issue in understanding why it's wrong. So, well, the market says this, the, the wholesaler says we have to charge that, and you're, you're saying you're not paying the bill because you believe that the charge is wrong. We then have to tell them what's wrong and give them all the technical information and that information then goes to the water retailer. The water retailer passes that on to the water wholesaler, and they're challenging the wholesale charges. Would um, obviously if you if you're calling out the these these officials, you know, as part of your your process with a customer, mm. and you're calling them out on a regular basis, surely they're not they're not just going to look at it and go right. We need to look at the whole lot and get this sorted. Or they're just happy to just keep just leave it ticking over. That's what will happen. Yeah, yeah. That's what will happen? What, that's what I mean. They'll keep it ticking over, or they will come to you and, and say, "Right, let's get it." No, started. no, no. It'll just stay as it is until someone makes a claim. The the attitude in the water industry has always been the same over the last thirty years. So the customer receives a bill. Yep. If the customer believes the bill is incorrect, yep. they challenge it. If the customer believes or trusts that the bill is correct, they'll pay it. Right. So it's ultimately up to the customer to make the challenge. The water retailer won't do it mm. unless they're challenged by a consultant such as H2O or others, yeah, and the customer direct. And that's how it is. It's bad in here. Wow. It's a, yeah. It's like this place, actually. You know, the other studio we were yeah. in. I got um, the bill through last month, and it's uh, it was the first full month that we, like, really used, like, smashing the studio. But we did, it wasn't a lot. We weren't in there much. And I got the bill at the end of the month, so it like, rent plus VAT plus le- electricity. And the electricity for the month was 60 quid. And you've seen that studio. It's yeah. tiny. Yeah. And, I'm, and, and I'm looking going... God, that's expensive. I thought, you know what? Like, we've been using it. I'll pay it. And then uh, when we moved from that studio into this one, yeah. I said to to the office manager, I went, "How can how can it be sixty quid for electricity for a month?" She went, "What? She went, it should be like a tenner max. She was like, it shouldn't cost that. No, it should not even a tenner. It should there's be nothing more. in there, is it? Few, yeah. few, <laughs> there's like there's this, this this and a Mac." <laughs> she goes, "There's no way it was sixty quid." And I got my phone out and I pulled the bill up. I went, "Look, sixty quid." She was like. That's not right. <laughs> so on a smaller scale, I got yeah. my 60 quid back. Oh, did it? Yeah, yeah. What you need is a solar panel out on the roof or something, <laughs> isn't it? or just out the window and it could power your power all your stuff. Yeah. Well, so it was wrong. It was wrong, yeah. So what the, each each uh, office has got its own meter, oh, and they'd yeah. taken, the, they basically took it from zero when they fitted the meter to what it is now, yeah. which were like 300 or whatever, 300 points, and then charged me for the lot. But I'd only like done like two months, so obviously when I moved in, it might have been like I don't know two eighty or something. But yeah. they never, they didn't know the start, yeah. so now they've had to just give me it all back <laughs> and start again. Um, but yeah, that's that's me. But that's, again, like that, if I hadn't questioned it, I'd have kept paying it. They wouldn't have known any different. They're just getting yeah. the money, so it is very similar. There always have been overcharges in the water industry. Always, I mean, since we started, there's always been overcharging, uh, but not on this scale. It's 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 markedly different, and it's it's. It's, it's not before deregulation. A lot of the overcharges that we come in against were quite complicated yeah. historically, and now it's basic stuff. It's kind of that's basic. You, you, why aren't you charging that? Mm. And another big challenge within the water industry is that a lot of the staff within the new water retail market for these water retail companies are inexperienced in charging structures. Right. So they don't have the expertise that we do when they're looking at a bill. As far as they're concerned, they bill it out in accordance with the instruction from the wholesaler, the market data. Yep. But in looking at that, there's no there's no audit before they dispatch the bill. And then you look at that and think, well, you're a water company. It's plainly incorrect. And yet you sent the bill out. Yeah, yeah. And the reply is, well, we're, we're charging in accordance with the market data, which is correct from their perspective. Yeah, yeah. But there's a distinct lack of expertise in 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 the new market now, yeah. which is another challenge. 
Um, so, so, so part part of the process of obviously. So, I mean, what, for starters, what jumped out at you most between last last podcast and this one for you to bring it up to this extent? Because obviously, we've taken on more projects, right? Uh, uh, recently, uh, um, one million pounds spend, one hundred and fifty thousand pounds a year overcharge. <laughs> that's, well, it's fifty percent of it, but that's fucking like, that's a lot of money. It's that's a lot, so much money. Yeah, and and it came about because the client, the, the guy, rang me up and he said. I've been reading your, your news blog right. about overcharging and things. He said, we're in that category. So I said, well, just, just explain what's happening. He said, well, we spend X pounds a year. We look at the bills. They look complicated. We've asked the water company to come in and explain them. They've come in. They've explained it. We still don't understand it. Yeah. And they still say the charges are due. But the charges have increased since before deregulation. So there has to be some. There has to be something wrong. But yeah. they never really identified it. They said, well... You know, the charges are correct, we're charging correctly as far as we're concerned, and the client doesn't believe they are being charged correctly. Yeah. So I said, well, just take a look at the bills, give them once over, see what you think, and then get back to us, which we did. And they sent the, the bills out. We put them into, took all the data off, put them into a, a, form, a proper formulated database so we could see all the different elements of the charge because bills are made up from different charges. You've got the water charge, water charge the wastewater charge, Standing charges, yeah. environmental charges, trade effort charges, and there's various components of the charge that make up the total bill. Yep. So you put them in one into columns, basically, so it's a bit more transparent for easy to, to, to carry out an audit. Yeah, yeah. And we did that, and uh, called the guy back, and he said, uh, well, it is as we suspected. Uh, we're a large site. Um, can you send us over details? We'd like to engage your services. So... We would send them over a, a standard water bill validation bureau service yep. agreement, which is, incorporates water management, water auditing, stuff like that. Yep. And uh, got it signed off uh, this week. Uh, and it's one of quite a few that have come over the last couple of weeks since we got together. But it's been the same old thing that's come up. Yeah, same time and time again, yeah. Yeah, and it, it's... If it was a thousand here and a thousand there, I guess what well, depend on the size of the bill. If it was a large bill, yeah, a you know, thousand pound overcharge over a couple of years, then okay, yeah. But some are even smaller. They might be spending five thousand pounds and being overcharged fifteen hundred quid a year. Yeah, yeah, you still, know what I mean? it's still a massive amount. It is, especially yeah. on a bill that sort of size. Yeah, it's obviously credits to your. Uh, so that you came across through your website. Is that how we? Yeah. Oh, we get we get all our business from the yeah. website, so yeah. we haven't got any salespeople at all. I, so I, I said before. Why, I um I used your website as an example for a customer the other day because of how you've structured your website. Yes, yeah. I mean like its SEO ranking must be massive because the amount of information that's on there, mm-hmm. like even just if you want to go learn about it, there's everything. You've got case studies, you've got your services, and then obviously you've got all your copy and mm-hmm. videos to match. It's a pretty, imp- it's a very impressive site well, to be fair. Y- y- you mentioned that. I- I'm glad you mentioned it, actually because we were contacted by. A- uh, a, a senior member of, I think it's Sheffield University. Yeah. And they're doing a water and environmental study. Right. So he came across our website, said how informative it was, which is great. Yeah, yeah. And um, just exchange a few emails, and they want to set up a Q&A session with us. Oh, wow. So I said to them, look, come on the podcast. Yeah, that's easy. All oh, right, that's cool. Isn't so it? we could have two or three university senior senior university uh researchers and lecturers wow coming onto the podcast and and uh and they said well how do you want to do the question q a session and i said well just uh, go for it i'm gonna say you're a shoot from the hip type of guy aren't you <laughs> yeah bring your questions I mean, in don't prep me I'm, I'm <laughs> if ready. i don't know it i'll say i don't know but i'll get back to you yeah yeah if i do know it then you're gonna get um best answer I can give you yeah, <laughs> at no, the time. That's interesting. So when's that going to, yeah. have you got a date set yet? Or? No, they've, they've got a management meeting, but they said, um, they said if we do that, then it will, it will uh, assist in hitting their target in, re- in regards to the whole study. So they've got to do so much research. Right. Yeah, and that would basically bring it smack bang up to date really quickly. And, you know, so it'll be a, I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. That's really good, that. I mean, it just yeah. obviously then goes credit to the work you've put into that site. I mean, it's so, two years. There's so well, much information. Longer, like, it's, it's, a, it's a monster of a site. Yeah, yeah. So much information on it. Yeah. But at least getting gigs like that. Well, the majority of people, they come onto it, they'll read it. Yep. If they like what they see, they'll call us up. 
But what we're finding is they'll look at it and then two or three months later you get a call. I was looking at your website. I've yeah. got your water bills. Who do I send them to? Yeah. Uh, and it's great. And it, it, I've always done business like that the last 30 years. Yeah. If someone, if you, if you, if you, the first thing is get found. Yes. So you've got to put that effort in at the front end. Yep. And then when you do get found, make sure all your information is accurate. Yep. You know, technically accurate. Uh, and and I got, I got great pains. To, I've even had people contact me and say, "There's a spelling mistake online too, or whatever it is." Yeah, and it'll be some university lecturer in you know English and and, and <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> they'll come on and say, "This is how you do it," yeah. and and I take it on the chin and say, yeah, yeah. "Fine, you know, prof." <laughs> yeah, mistakes happen. Uh, I mean, obviously, so for me, writing and uh, ad copy and stuff like that's not my strong suit. I'm not uh, English uh, literature is not my uh, my thing. <laughs> But uh, no, it's it's really good. Is that I mean, like the site itself, and, and you trademarked your, your logo as well, didn't you? That is it's it's proper. It's a nice. I love the design. The colours, the design, yeah. the wording. Yeah, yeah. I did that because no one else does it, and I like to I like to do what no one else does. Yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm a non-conformist. I like it. D- disruptive. I, I, I'm a strong believer in disrupting the uh, the marketplace in the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I was. I was uh, I was slated, sort of back in the last Sl- year. Slated, slated. Oh yeah, I've totally slated because yeah. uh, we do a lot of well, I do a lot of content. And my yeah. colleagues do a lot of content on LinkedIn to generate conversation, yep. br- bring the water and wastewater industry, you know, up there into the twenty first century. And some I'm direct, and some some individuals or organisations don't like the directness. Yeah, but I just say it like it is, really. Most of the time, if not, yeah, most of the time, it's all true. Yeah, and your your customers must appreciate that as well because obviously, yeah. if you are open and honest with them and say this is the situation, mm-hmm. yeah, definitely. I think it's uh, I think it's, it's necessary. They get the good news and also get the bad news. So yeah. if it's an over, under undercharge, they get the they get the they get the bad news. Yeah, unfortunately, you owe them some some dollars. We do have what, a case that's a million pounds plus undercharge. So they owe a million pound. Yeah, we're, we're still pitching for that business. It's a very big company in London. Yeah, yeah, that's all. <laughs> I can't even comprehend that. I know it's my little brain can't <laughs> compute those sort of numbers. I'm afraid it was it was kind of challenging because the guy had obviously been instructed to, to search around for consultants yeah. on the internet, and our name popped up. And we just had a chat, and he sent the bills through. We had another chat, and I said. And I said uh, could we just have some meter readings? And he sent me a photograph. And he said, I'm going on holiday for two weeks. <laughs> I said, yeah, you're going on holiday for two weeks. So I'll give you the good news when you get back. He said, what do you mean? I said, no, 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 leave, just park it there for the minute. And I thought to myself, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Yeah. It's, if, the, if his last reading on his bill is correct, and if this is the correct meter, oh my he God. owes a shed load, well, the company does. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, you mentioned on the last podcast, um, about if uh, if a case like that happens and then the switch suppliers, the it can be sort of all forgotten. Ge- well, generally it can get lost in the system. Yeah. Um, if you switch, um, so and then, and there's some grey areas of the charging structure in relation to back charging yep. uh, that we exploit uh, for the customer's benefit. Yeah. I mean, if you're not billing correctly, then you're not billing correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, a million pounds is a million pounds. <laughs> a million pounds is a million pounds, yeah. <laughs> damn right uh, it is. Uh, uh, I, I, de- I mean, I, I'd love to say who it is, but um, it, it's, it is a well-known business. Yeah. But um, he, he didn't actually believe me, so yeah, he thought yeah. he would take another photograph. And right. I said, it's exactly the same, except it's increased. <laughs> yeah. Because you've been away for two weeks. <laughs> So whether or not it got a leak, I don't know, or, or there's a fault with the meter. Oh dear. I don't know. But the ironic thing is, when you looked, when I looked at the bills, I thought, well, that's too much for the sites that they've got down there. Yeah, it's far too much. It's like forty percent more than what I would expect. Yeah, uh, but that's not the case. It's forty percent more plus. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know whether they've got leakage or, or what. I just so, don't know. so obviously, your your leads and your clients and customers come through. Predominantly your website. You yeah. don't have for BDMs, you don't have salespersons, you don't have cold calling. No. No, no, it's everything's, everything's inbound. Yeah, yeah. That's the dream, that, that's the machine, is that? Well, it's the point of view is we don't, we tried it 
four or five years ago, and it's like you get a tele sales or telemarketing. PPI. People are bashing the phones yeah. all the time. And I, I just think, how would I react to that on a daily basis? Well, I wouldn't like it, you know. We're, we're British and we don't like to be sold to, not even in business. Well, if you want an item of, I don't know, clothing or whatever, you go on the internet, don't you? Yep. You know, um, and I think that's the way. To, that's the way to buy. Yeah, yeah. But internet's big enough. Been in, been been with us for decades now, and you got to be seen. And if you're not seen, you're not trusted. Yes. Uh, and so uh, we we put, we we do quite a lot of content through LinkedIn. Yeah, LinkedIn's a a, a powerful uh, platform at the minute. It's, it's I increased. love it. Yeah, it's so yeah, good. I love it. Um, a, a lot, any businesses should be really exploiting that while we've got a chance, uh, as the decline of Facebook and Instagram is continuing yeah. in, uh, LinkedIn especially for businesses it's where it's at it's undervalued actually very undervalued yeah the it's, amount of data on it is yeah, mind blowing yeah yeah. if you get a sales navigator account you can find out exactly <laughs> who you want where you want I've got one yeah, yeah. <laughs> well I just haven't the time to navigate but yeah it, it is yeah it's, it's an impressive platform and, and if, if you get a if you get a client a potential client ring up uh, straight away I'm going straight into LinkedIn yep and they've got a LinkedIn account press connect and if they're on the if they if they're standing in front of a computer, it'll pop up like LinkedIn request. Yeah, yeah. As you sent this through, Graham, I said, "Well, yeah, well, that was quick." <laughs> you have to be in business. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you've got someone ringing up, you've got seconds to make an impression, haven't you? Yeah, of literally course. seconds. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, and, and especially and, th- and this style of content, um, when this starts getting released um, on onto LinkedIn and onto onto all your platforms, yeah. Again, it it, it builds up. Because you're, you're a re- you're, I think you're quite a, a really likable guy. So oh, people, thank you. <laughs> but when people watch this and, and listen, and it builds up that rapport with your clients, yeah, that, yeah. or potential clients, like it certainly has for me. Mm. When when people want to work with Get Your Media or myself or use the studio, they can go online and there's so much content for, from myself. Yeah. That the, the literally one lady sat in front of me in, uh, from a, a music production company, she was like, I feel like I know you. I've watched like five of your podcasts. So when I went into the meeting, she almost knew me as like a character on the screen and I, I didn't know if she was from Adam, you know, like, but we sat down and it, that rapport was already there because she knew exactly what I was like, what, what my personality Business was. ought to be more fun. Yeah. It's kind of, I mean, I posted something, we, we recently signed a, a client in the Northwest that yes, she spent yeah. about a million quid. Yeah. And, and I post, I actually posted it on uh, LinkedIn and I said, well, we just signed a client I'm spending a million pounds, potential savings, 150,000 a year to overcharge. And I put in, I get all giddy. Even after thirty years, I get all giddy when I get when I get an agreement signed. We, we get a new yeah. project in. Yeah, yeah. Because like, it's exciting. So I'm privileged. Yeah. To be in this position to do something that I'm passionate about. Yeah. That I've learned about. That I feel myself and my team are good at. Yeah. You know, we we do our best. We don't. We don't. Well, that's that's the biggest thing. I think you know, you're passionate about it. You've got you've got so much knowledge and experience that yeah. I mean, it speaks for itself. So. Oh. It's, we got a new starter in a couple of weeks. Oh, I've got another member. Yeah, I won't staff. mention it just yet, but yeah, so right, we'll, she's on LinkedIn, funny enough. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, she's good. <laughs> well, uh, while we're talking about LinkedIn, if you are listening, uh, make sure you connect with uh, Graham Man on uh, on LinkedIn uh, and just have a look at the content that's coming out. And if you've already watching, if you're watching this on LinkedIn, then don't ease her. Six thousand followers. Yeah, Ooh. really, <laughs> that's impressive. Actually, it's really impressive. But I thought it was quite good. Yeah, it's, it's taken good. three years. Yeah, yeah. But if they don't like what they see, then they follow yeah. that's life yeah. so what, what's this you've got in front of us here <laughs> right what, what he brought us the, told about the problems and the and the overcharging i thought i'd just do uh whilst i that's a copy of a check a check mm-hmm. so this is a repayment check yeah one three two one hundred and thirty two thousand six hundred and thirteen pounds and 56 pence yeah that's what this is an actual uh mm. That represents six years back charges, a sort of six years, six years overcharging. So that's twenty grand a year, isn't it? Mm. What? And <clears throat> due to the statute, what they call the statute of limitations, you can only go back six years. So it'd be more if, they, if oh, it's more, yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah, nearly. <laughs> One hundred and thirty-two grand. Two hundred and forty-two thousand <laughs> quarter million pounds. Mm. So that's forty grand a year for six. Is this a six-year one? I think that represented ten years. Went back ten years on that one. Wow. Mm. Quarter of a million. Imagine if you were a business and you got a check through for a quarter of a million quid over a back payment. 
if it can't get any bigger, surely. Right, okay, we're, we're, we're going down to what I can I can actually compute now. 14,100. Oh, 14,000. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you've just got a, you've got a stack of them, yeah? Oh, yeah. Just, Pull them out. 35,000, 100,000, 19,000, 15,000, 33,000, 51,000, <laughs> 50,000, and 18,000. That is... M- that's stupid money. It is. That is absolutely stupid. It is. That's a quarter of a million quid. You know, companies are, are, are looking at the finances on a regular basis. And it's, there's, there's and this is just completely getting overlooked. Yeah, it's just tens of millions of pounds worth of, probably more than that now since water deregulation. So. But yeah, emerging companies really to get their bills audited. So that's your recommendation then? Obviously, get their bills if, audited. If, if a company's listening now, just, oh well, yeah, get it. Get it audited, and if they're if they're with an energy consultant, ask the energy consultant or the energy broker, yeah, to uh, <coughs> you know, give us a call. We'll work with these guys. Yep, they're their clients after all, and we'll work on their behalf for them and their customers, and identify areas that they perhaps not have the expertise to deal with. A quarter of a million quid, and get all this money paid back. Yeah, yeah. It's, I know it sounds a bit like PPI, but it's it's the longer it goes on. The more difficult it is to find, yeah, because um, at some point it might rectify itself. They might start charging correctly, but they're not going to give the money back voluntarily. No, so it'll just disappear in the ether. Yeah, if it does start, yeah, if it starts to rectify itself, and like you said, if it's a six-year period, you might as well crack on now, obviously, because it's just money's dying in it. Like you're going to keep, keep spending it, and yeah. you're losing it on both yeah. sides of the of the six-year scale as it slides. And ironically, once we've done billing make sure that's correct so they're willing to look at efficiency savings yes yeah yeah, yeah. and i think uh, a couple of projects i think one is about 20 percent of their total spend is a potential saving wow which is just under about 800 grand <laughs> <laughs> yeah so they're they, the big ones but we deal with small medium and large companies okay. yeah, yeah so anyone they all get the same call. service yeah, yeah. it goes through the same sausage machine yep <laughs> yeah, yeah. comes out of the side as a Sausage. <laughs> well, I don't know why I use that analogy, but yeah, we feed things into the system. Yeah, and they're rectified, and and, uh, and and the clients then on the correct charges, and they're paying for what they use as opposed to what they waste. Perfect. That's what we want, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, is that pretty much some of what we wanted to get out? For today? Yeah, yeah. I, I brought the, I brought the, the copies because I just went. I, I just felt the need to give it more impact. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you can sit here and. And reel off the numbers. I mean, I, I, like I think we spoke briefly on numbers on the first podcast. I want to say we spoke about uh, numbers, and you rattled a couple off to me. And I'm like, I, can't, I don't get that. But when you see it, like literally on on a NatWest check that's been sent back, mm. like hundred, literally on a NatWest check, one hundred thirty-two thousand pound, and then the other one, the other big ones, a quarter of a million. Well, it, it, what, Lloyd's TSB, that's a genuine check, a copy of a genuine yeah, check. Yeah. yeah. It, now, now with deregulation, now they send out what's called e bills. So they don't send you a check; they add it onto the bill, right? And yeah. then reduce, and, and it's applied as a credit, and then bills come in, yeah, and the, and, the, and it's paid out of the refund credit, yeah. The, the times of issuing checks now are, are dying, yeah, yeah. So uh, we're hanging on to the evidence, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, right? Yeah. Well, uh, let's wrap it up there. Then, if you want yeah. any more information um, on this, like I like we said earlier, visit the uh, website h 12 buildingservices uk. Is that right? Um, it is an amazing site. I, I keep using it as an example with my other clients. Um, Invoices in the post. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, check out Graham on, uh, on on LinkedIn, Graham Man. Any final words? Get your bills out and send them to us and you never know, you might be due a huge amount of cash. Class. Right, catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.